how one can access our library is changing, and it's okay. As a resident and taxpayer, you should know that your Huntington Beach Central Library is responsive to the times and a responsible member of the digital age. To connect from present to the future, the Digital Bookmobile stopped by for a two-day visit. We've invited uh, the company that supplies our e-books to come out and tell our library users about what we have. In recent years, e-books have gotten really, really popular through the library and people come here and download them. And today is part of Digital Literacy Week where we let people know what we have in addition to traditional library resources like print books. It's not about traditional versus digital information gathering, but rather an added feature benefit by just owning a library card. I, I think it's an amazing uh, thing that they're offering to library patrons. For the growing audience that prefers using the technologies of e-readers, tablets, and pods, the HB Library is ready for you to check in or check out. You can check out books, you can renew your books, so you don't have to worry about getting those overdue fees. And one nice thing about our e-books is that you'll never get an overdue fee with the e-book because the e-books automatically are deleted from your device when the expiration date is done. No more fines. And you can still get the books that you want. And those books, over 1,500 titles and 600 audio downloads presently and growing, are on a host of cool devices. Actually, all the new devices that are coming out, whether it be the Kindle HD, the Nook HD, um, any of the Android tablets or the iOS tablets, those are all um, very good at handling our service and we always work to help make the experience the best as possible. Um, so if we find something that we need to work on, we'll definitely take that and work on it and make it easier for a patron to check out the, the titles. And having the digital bookmobile on site provided technical assistance. I finally learned how to electronically load books into my iPhone 5. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't even know I had this app and I, she just showed me how to use it. And it's been sitting in my, in my tablet for about a month. And I knew I had to download it, but I didn't know how to use it, that I was supposed to use it. So I guess she's gonna show me some more things. With some surprising finds. That I could download books on my iPod on my iPod Touch. I didn't know that. I figured you could do it with a computer, but iPod, that's, that's fantastic. It's a balance of both. Some people would like to come to the library like me, and some people would rather not go to the library. But uh, on the other hand, uh, this is something that you could do if you're on the go and you're a businessman and you don't want to haul books and haul periodicals and stuff like that. But to me, it's a great way to um, move with the future, I guess, and technology. Gene from HB likes it the old-fashioned way. And I don't mind going to the library, man. I was telling you, I love the traditional format of a regular book. You know, it doesn't mean that libraries are passe or that libraries and books are dying. It's just a new way to get the information out. Books will always be around, but now there's a new way to access this technology and get the information that you need. They can do research from home, they can read books from home, uh, download ebooks, as we said. Uh, there are just a number of resources that don't limit us to the hours that we're open and the, and the library doors are physically open. It, it's important to be 24-7 because that's the way people, people live now. They don't limit their shopping, their education, their searching to just uh, business hours anymore. And the library needs to change and evolve along with uh, the way people live their lives. And we hope we're doing that. We're doing our best to make our website something place where they can find out what the library has to offer, where they can access the resources that they need, and where they can keep up uh, whatever time of day that they're online or want to access us. So how are you finding this digital space right now as we progress? In our when it works, it's fabulous. Yes, I don't have to carry books around anymore. For Surf City Highlights, this is Matt Liffering.